first, I'm going to bring you this quote. Just focus on the headline. Read the rest of the quote at leisure. It's a really good quote from Annie Dillard, who's a writer. How we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. So how is it that we spend our hours and our days? Well, we spend our hours and our days sitting in front of a computer, doing calls, feeling guilty that we're not at work and uh, we didn't have to commute, we didn't have to go to office, so I must put in that extra. And so we spend our days just like the sorry guy on the previous slide, which is just sitting in front of a computer, staring at it and wondering what happened, what's going to happen next. So I'm going to talk about three things, three problems that you can solve today and reduce the amount of stress that you're carrying. Again, the uh, chat window is open. Please go ahead and ask your questions and put in your chat comments uh, right now. All right, the first thing is this famous song from the 80s is Rhythm Is Gonna Get You, which is to say you're currently flatlining. If you look at this stack of windows, look at the windows right in front of the, the yellow line. What does that seem like? It seems like your daily schedule, does it not? You look at your calendar, it kind of looks the same. Block, mm. block, 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 block. You just got meetings all day. It does. Back in the good old days before the pandemic, you would get out of your home. Uh, you know, you would get up, get dressed, uh, look nice, and then get out of your home and sit in the car, um, go to your office, commute, whatever, do your work, go out, meet your colleagues, um, have a few coffee breaks, lunch break, uh, and then drive back. You had buffers in your schedule that allowed you to get in and out of things, right? So your schedule wasn't all packed like sardines in a tuna, in a can, right? So the problem with being uh, flatlining your schedule is it's not very different from those ER shows. If you flatline in your career or your schedule, you're probably dead. Right? You have nothing new coming out because you're saturated. By 11 o'clock, right before this meeting that you came in on, you've probably checked out. You're done for the day because your brain's just gone out for a walk. So you got to learn to buffer your schedule. And having a packed schedule isn't helping you. And so you got to build a rhythm. The second thing is you got to learn to meditate. You can't be all in your head all the time. You have to in, have you have to intersperse your intense sessions of thinking and activity, cognitive activity, and alternate them with meditation. And uh, I teach meditation, uh, there's podcasts, uh, and oh, you could go to you know classes, pay thousands of dollars, but there's a lot of free stuff that's out there as well. Um, free bad stuff as well, so buyer beware. Uh, but learn to meditate. Learn to find peace and calm and tranquility in your workday. You can meditate in the morning, you can meditate in the midday, you can meditate in the evening. There's really no excuse to not learn to meditate or not pack it into your schedule. It's really important. And when you talk about meditation, Gaurav, how, how does one meditate? Is it mind? Is it body? Is it soul? How, how does that work? There's many different schools. Uh, you, you know, a lot, in, in some schools, they give you a mantra. They give you something to repeat. And what it does is it, uh, what you're trying to do is get past the thoughts. So people think that we're all, I'm this body, but then somebody will tell you, no, no, you're not this body. You're spiritual, but not religious. You're also your thought. So then you think I'm my thoughts. No, you're something even behind that because you can alter your thoughts. What you're trying to do is calm your thoughts down and let them go away. Similar to how at Halloween, uh, if, you, if you run out of candy, you just turn off the lights and the kids don't come anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't feed the thoughts and the gremlins will go away. Right. Agreed. And so, so what you're trying to do with meditation is simply free yourself from your thoughts. And you could do that with a mantra, like I said. You, there are uh, meditations that ask you to focus on your breath. There are meditations that ask you to walk. There are meditations uh, like Qigong that ask you to move your body in a particular way. They're all great ways. And I think some people don't realize they're actually meditating when we were driving to work. When oh. you sit in the car and you turn on your music and you're singing and you're laughing along, whatever it may be, whether it's a podcast, whatever it is, you put yourself in a good mood, you free yourself of those thoughts and, you know, endorphins start coming out. Absolutely. Now, uh, if you've ever driven on I-5 and if you remember your driving license, they told you if you're on the freeway, you got to make sure that you're not trancing out. <laughs> you trance out on the freeway and they'll essentially 
because it's I-5, as you know, it's hundreds of miles of nothingness. Yes. And if you're not paying attention, you're probably just going down. Yes. So runners, runners have that as well. So there are many ways to meditate, which is you're trying to go past the thoughts. Uh, but yogis like to sit. <laughs> All right. So so that's the next thing. The, the third thing is you got to have a soundtrack, not just rhythm is going to get you. You can pick other songs and work for you. But uh, perk yourself up because uh, soundtracks, not just like harsh music, but good music, just the way your mom would sing to you, hold you close to her heart and sing to you. And that calmed you down. Right? That's what you want. You want to be calmed down. Songs that you can sing to allow you to calm yourself, calm yourself down. So that's really important and a good way to hack this out. Another exercise, you won't read this in a meditation book. You won't get too many yoga teachers and meditation gurus tell you. But here's a fun tip. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Yes. Drink, a lot of water. drink a lot of water. Yeah. So many water water. Is one, you got to drink water because it's good for you. You're hydrated. Absolutely. And yeah, when what happens on the other side is you got to take breaks. <laughs> Very true. You can't, you can't undo it. One thing I want to add to the soundtrack that you're saying, a good way to make yourself in a positive mood from when you're waking up is listen to your favorite song when you wake up. Do a little dance. Get in a positive mood and bring out that energy. Yeah. Get out of that funk. Yes. All right. So